I don't know why this thing the twist when Nigerian entertainers did. I don't know why when I panic so much about my statement. All right, welcome back to my channel today. You know how it is, it's your boy Sagiri. Um, please, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Okay, like this video, you can share it with your friends and your loved ones. Uh, to get their own opinion. So today I want to make this video very short, okay? Because um, I don't like rubbish, you know. I just I just saw the video from this particular guy again, CY International, you know, trying to bring down Nigeria again after the first one he did. Okay, he said first of all he said Nigerians are panicking, uh, that Nigerians are greedy, selfish, and all that. Okay, no problem. I, I, I understand that part. But I want to make a point. I want to say something to this guy, CY International. Okay. As far as I'm concerned, in the next 20 years, Cameroon as a country can never be up to Nigeria. Okay, in anything, I'm talking about anything they are doing. Okay, in any endeavor, in any business, in any criteria, both entertainment to Musical, economical, you know, everything but landmarks, population. See, Cameroon is not talented. Let me put it that way. They don't have talented people in Cameroon. Okay, let's for instance, one of the talented, talented people in Cameroon is CY International, that kind of a guy that cannot even make someone to laugh. They say he's a comedian. What kind of a comedian are you? You're not a real comedian because. You can't sell out a show in Nigeria, trust me, even if it means the rural areas, man. You know? So you're coming out to say Nigerians are panicking. Over what? Panicking over Cameroon? Cameroon? <laughs> it's very funny, man. How can Nigerians be panicking over Cameroon? Cameroon is just a small country, man. Trust me, it's a very small country. And moreover, there's another person commenting in my, in my, in my videos trying to abuse me. Listen. If you watch my video and you want to abuse me, you can abuse me, but that's no problem. When you're abusing me, abuse me with, with uh, facts, okay? Don't just talk because you're feeling, you're feeling somehow, you're feeling bad, then you now want to come and tell me you are abusing my channel, okay? I don't have to abuse you, I don't have to reply you, but I'm telling you now, if you don't want to watch my videos, please don't watch, okay? I'm still talking to CY International. Saying that Nigerians are greedy. So what? Let's talk about the greediness and selfishness. Okay. He so he said about 50 cent fighting, AG is fighting 50 cent and things like that. Okay. There's a difference between what transpired between Idris Abdukarin and 50 cent. That was in 2010. Okay. There was a difference between what happened then. Okay. Those days, I think 2005 or somewhere there. It was it's an, it's an old story. Okay, now then it wasn't like Nigerian music was not running in here. Nigerian music was actually trending then here because Idris have already blown, Two Face have already blown, okay, Blackface have already blown, so many people have already blown, Azados has blown, so many people have blown then, okay, when that incident happened. So, what is the issue? Before you say your rubbish, before you start ranting your bullshit, I'm talking to you, CY International, you have to make your research, ask questions, you're not a Nigerian. You don't live in Nigeria. You don't know what's going on here. You just you want to just be favored by your stupidity. Okay? Now, 50 Cent was being paid a million dollars to come and perform in Nigeria. Okay? 50 Cent was given five-star treatment. Okay? Private jet and things like that to come and perform in Nigeria. Okay? And meanwhile, Nigerian artists who is on board there, which is Idris Abikarin and the likes, that I already made it in Nigeria then was worried because they don't give them the treatment. Okay, it's not about playing music, it's not about the songs, it's not about banning any music. Nobody banned American music in Nigeria, okay? Olodo, no one has banned Nigerian music, no one has banned Cameroon or uh, American music in Nigeria. Never, it has ever happened before. Okay, it naturally took over. Nigerian music naturally took over from there because we, we worked hard. Okay, now Idris Adukano was talking about the fairness in the game how can you give someone to, a, a million dollars and you're giving maybe a Nigerian artist a million naira or five hundred thousand then to come and play the same stage 
maybe play longer than Idris because Idris was uh, 50 cents because 50 cents was going was gonna to play about 30 minutes shoot and they collect a million dollars. So that was the case and now the fight started in the play because they, 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 they didn't want him to join the same fight but this he is a headliner, okay? He's a headliner too in the show because after 50 cents then you get Idris up about... Idris was in the biggest level then, Kenneth Music, okay? So, before you say something, make your research. Uh, uh, what, what, are you, what are they calling you? CY International. You can't just come up and say, uh, Idris fought 50 Cent because of what? No. They didn't, they didn't fight because they wanted to not to come to Nigeria. They, they were fighting because of the, 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 the poor treatment they were getting. Okay? Poor treatment. It's not about banning songs. It's not about the songs either. It's about the business now. First of all, Cameroon doesn't have any music, music business as far as I'm concerned. They don't have music business in Cameroon. They don't have entertainment business in Cameroon. Since I was born, I have not watched Cameroonian movie. Okay? I have not watched, I have watched Ghanaian movies, South African movies. You know, I have watched Kenya movies. I have watched so many movies, African movies, nice, nice movies. But I have never, I swear with my life, I have never watched Cameroon movie. Okay? I can't sing a Cameroon song. I don't know the best songs. I have not heard their songs that are nice that can make it here down here in Nigeria. It's not about it's not about us. We like good music in Nigeria, okay? I know you're a mumu man. You're a mumu man, CY International. I'm telling you you're a very stupid guy. Okay? I'm gonna put up this video so that people will hear your rubbish you're saying. Okay? This is rubbish. You don't just crop up just because you think you can talk. You're showing us you wear fake fake things. Look at the Versace eyeglass you're showing that you, you you're calling it gold. You're stupid. The eyeglass they say 500 naira here. That's what you're wearing. You're, you're making noise. You say you're wearing carat gold. Who, who sent you? Who are you? Who gave you money? How, how are you making money? Because as far as I'm concerned, you're not a comedian. You're not funny. You can't make money with this. This cannot take you anywhere. Maybe you're a criminal. Yes. Maybe you have something you're doing that nobody knows about. And you're talking about comedy. Are you stupid? Okay? You're talking about uh, Nigerians are greedy. What is greediness? Okay, what is greediness? What is greediness? Greediness is not greediness is, is when two people are involved. Okay, we don't have any business with Cameroonians. If our songs is trending over there, it is none of our business. Nobody forced it on them. Are you getting the point? If they are trying to use us for their shows there, it is not our fault. We didn't force anybody to come and take us here to Cameroon and go and perform. Put that in your tick score, Mr. CY International. I know you are dull. Okay? Greedy, we don't have any business with you guys. You guys are just on your own. We are on our own. So you guys are the ones infringing on our privacy, calling us for your shows, playing our music without our, our consent. Over there, you are, you are getting angry. Is it our fault? Whose fault is it? What is greediness? Okay, you want us to start playing, playing work songs here, right? My brother, it will not work. It won't work. You want us to start playing work songs so that you will be happy. If that is your if that is your case, man, you will never be happy. Because we don't like nonsense music here. We don't play rubbish music here. We don't enjoy nonsense things here. Your comedy, your comedy is rubbish. Okay? All these things I'm saying is true. You go and check it. Before you talk, before you do something, you make your research. Make, make research. Don't just say something because you want to say it. Or because you feel like you have a platform to talk, you now just decide to start talking anything you see or anything you feel like. You can't fight for anybody because you don't have money. I'm talking to you, CY International, you don't have anything. Yes, this, this issue is what is even making you popular. This Nigerian and Cameroon issue is what has made me to know you. Because I hate people like you. You, you are just an arrogant fool who just decides to criticize every, everything. You are a jealous spy. Trust me, you're a jealous person. This is how jealousy plays out. Okay? So when people are jealousy, they play, they do as if they, 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 they find means, find reason to create problems because they are jealous about something. Okay? So your jealousy will not take you far, Mr. CY International. I've made this video just because of you, so that you will know that. Listen, we are watching you. Okay? Don't shoot yourself on the leg. Saying Nigerians are, Nigerians are greedy, they are this. Who are, who are you calling Nigerians that are greedy? Do you think anybody knows any of your musicians over there? Have we seen any of your musician song played in Nigerian music, played in Nigerian station? Do they have money to even promote in Nigeria?
Or do you think Nigerians are just, just playing videos or playing music for free? They don't play music for free here. They don't. Go and ask your questions. They don't play music for free. I know you people are looking for free package. It's not available here. That free package you're looking for will never be available here. Okay? So you stop making try stop making such videos, okay? Stop me talking rubbish. They just are greedy, they just are selfish. Uh, 50 Cent was fighting with Idris because of the same case. You're stupid for saying such thing because that's not the case. Okay? Till tomorrow we bring in foreign musicians to come and perform here. Yes. Till tomorrow. Are you hearing me? Till tomorrow we bring in foreign artists from America, from all sorts of places to come and play here. We're not greedy. We're not like a Merunia that if they bring someone, it becomes a problem. If they bring someone, it becomes an issue for you. Yes. And it's not you that is sponsoring the show. You don't have money. You're not part of it. Maybe because of they're not putting you in the show. That's why you're getting jealous. All I will advise you is work more on your craft if you think you are into entertainment, okay? If you, are, if you think you are into comedy or whatever you think you are into, work more on yourself. Work more on your craft. Stop putting eye where nobody is sending you. Stop putting eye for what you know consign you. You are speaking pidgin English, you are speaking Nanai, like this. Where did you get that from? Do you get, do you, do you talk to you that that's Nigerian language? You don't know that Nalai, all these people are speaking over there. It's Nigerian language. It's, you people borrowed it from us. But that will not, not reach you. If it is what, if it were you guys now, it would be like Nigerians are greedy, greedy, they are selfish. Why are you speaking pidgin? Why are you saying Nalai? Nalai, now you bring them. Did you create that language? Did you know what it means? Because Nigerians are speaking, you now tap into it and you, you are still not happy that the Nigerians are allowing you to use their things and you are feeling proud come and tell us hey, hey listen my my dear uh, CY International go and work on yourself okay that's the best advice I'll give you go and work on yourself stop all this nonsense you're doing you're showing you're showing are you sure are you Nigerians you're showing that your fake watch and fake wristband and fake eyeglass your fake clothes fake everything your fake channel fake everything who are you? Who do you think you can impress with that? You think Nigeria is a poor country that you come and show us your fake poor things you're doing? We are not poor here. We don't do poor things. We don't allow it. We don't appreciate that. So if you think that, if you think that Nigerians are not worth it, then stop, stop using Nigerian things. Stop playing Nigerian music. We don't need. We don't. We're not, we're not making money from Cameroon. Trust me. Okay. If you put Ghana, put Cameroon, I'll go to Ghana. If you put another country, African country, I will go there, I will not go to Cameroon. So mind you, okay? So I'm going to leave it here for my subscribers and those who know what is going on. This is my reaction on that video that that fool make. And I want you to drop a comment, tell me what you think about this video. Okay, if you are new, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That's how it is. I always try and make videos every day or every week. I try my best because it's not easy though, but we do it. So that's how it is. I'm going to leave it here for today. Uh, I'm going to see you in my next video. Okay? Remain blessed. And bye.